What's up internet? Welcome to my first YouTube video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up and configure the Jarvis project. Um, recently this project has gained a lot of traction on TikTok um, and a lot of people are asking how it works and how to use it. So this is going to be a full introduction and walkthrough of how to set up the project. So quickly I just want to go over a few prerequisites. First of all you're going to need Visual Studio Code or some type of IDE, whichever you prefer is fine. Um, next we're going to need Olama. So for that, you're going to need to download Alama. If you guys are not sure how to do that, you can just go to Alama.com and then download right here. Um, once you've downloaded it, you're going to have access to it via your terminal. So you can go into command prompt here, and then you should see commands when you run Alama. So the next step is going to be actually installing a model. Um, and the model that is used in this main.py is the Quen3 1.7 build parameter model. So that's the one that we're gonna download. So when you're on Llama, you can click the models section and then here you're gonna see all the different models. So we're gonna type in Quen3 and then right here you're gonna see all the different models and the one that we used was the 1.7 build parameter one. So you can just go ahead and hit this copy right here. We're gonna go in here and we're gonna go Llama pull and then enter that. And then this is gonna start installing the LLM onto our local machine. Great, so now you guys can see that the model has downloaded, so we're all done with that part. Um, the next part is going to be ensuring, like I said, you have an IDE with Python installed, um, and then from there we pretty much have everything. So now we're going to go to the Jarvis, and then we're going to pull the code. So I'm going to download the zip. You can obviously pull this via the command if you prefer, um, but sometimes just doing a zip file makes it easier. So once we have this file, what we're going to do is we're going to extract it to my desktop. And then cool, now we have the file. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open Visual Studio Code. I'm gonna pull my file into it. I'm gonna trust the author. And then here we go. Now we have the project set up. All right, so the first step is going to be opening a terminal. You can just do this by clicking new terminal. And then we're going to create a ven for Python so we can actually install all these dependencies. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go Python M and then we'll just name it vem as well. So now you can see right here that a new vem folder has applied. Now to actually run the vem, what we're gonna do is have to activate it via this script. So now you can see that the vem is active right here. Um, so now we are going to go into the actual dependency list and then download that. So I'm navigating to it right now. You can see it right here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do Python Actually, excuse me, we're going to do pip install and then recursive so it does everything. Um, and then we're going to do requirements.txt. So this should install all of the dependencies. So now that we have all the dependencies installed, we should be able to just start the program. However, there were a few dependencies that did not get installed correctly when I ran this. Um, Langchain, Pi Audio, and then the PYTTSX3 were a couple of them. So you may need to rerun them using pip. Um, but once you've installed that, the program should work. So let me show you. I'm going to now run python main.py. Hey Jarvis. Yes, sir. How are you doing? I'm just an AI assistant here to help. I'm going to hit control C to stop the program. Um, but as you can see, this program fully works now. Um, this is pretty much the Jarvis setup. Now, you probably notice that the voice is not as good as it was in the TikTok on my Mac um, and that's because it's a different TTS engine so all you'd have to do to change that would just be go down to this TTS setup and then you can kind of change what the engine is. Um, you can use an online engine which will sound realistic but take longer um, but I really wanted to go for the offline so the latency is really realistic. Alright guys, so that was the setup. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I'll be making more videos. If you guys have any suggestions, please throw them in the comments. Uh, thank you guys all for the support. Appreciate it. Have a great day.